My name is Zach Gonzalez. I've been practicing kendo on and off for about maybe five or six years now, and I am 26 years old. There's a lot you can learn about Japanese culture from doing a traditional Japanese martial art. When you do kendo, it's like if you truly do kendo and you truly dedicate yourself to it, it's something that just sticks with you. So the ideas and the mentality in kendo I carried over to everything in my life. Uh, the thing with kendo is what you'll learn is if you start kendo or if you know someone that does kendo is they're super hardworking. They're probably some of the most hardworking people you will ever meet. We did this thing that they used to do in high school called uh, asageko, where that is basically morning practice. Uh, uh, basically we would get up, go to the gym at 5 a.m., practice for about two hours until about 7 a.m., you know, just, you know, just going up and down the gym, just basic strikes, you know, whatever we wanted to work on. And we did that five days a week. We did that every day. We would get up, you know, 4.30ish, meet up at 5 a.m., stretch, get warmed up, practice just all the way till 7 a.m. on top of classes. And in America, this is more so of a hobby um, than it is, I guess, a way of life. Granted, for me, and even for some people I've met, it feels like a way of life. It feels like something that affects them to the very core. But I mean, you meet professionals in any field, you know, you meet, you meet doctors, you meet lawyers, you meet dentists, you meet just people that like are like excelling in their field, but still do kendo. It's also part of the mentality that comes with practicing kendo, that, that spirit of constant improvement, trying to be the best, trying to do just really well, whether it's in kendo and life, whatever, you're constantly striving for improvement. My name is Judy Chan. I've been doing kendo for about 10 months. And I'm 21 years old. I've never done a martial art before. I've never, I've done a few sports, but not seriously. And that, like, it hardly counts. So I've just never been like a physical activity, exercise y kind of person. And I was really scared that. There are going to be various spectrums of people in this group, either that this group didn't take this seriously and it was going to be a bunch of really prejudiced people there who are going to judge me for my gender, my age, my size, like how I was a novice, just anything. Like I was just scared of being judged. We've been really lucky to just have all these incredible experiences that people who've been doing kendo for years have never even had. We've been to our first tournament. We've been to a national seminar where we met senseis from all, across, all around the country. There's so many truly encouraging people in Kendo. They're like, they give you advice because they care, not because they're trying to put you down. When you go to practice, no one ever tells you to drop down and give them 20 or run a mile if you do something wrong, as long as you just show up to practice. They're just like, we're happy you're here. And as long as you're sincere about your effort, the fact that you care and you have like heart, that's all that really matters. In addition to wanting to get better at kendo, I, like, I want to continue having that sort of positive effect on my life, that positive effect of wanting to do better, wanting to improve, whether it's at work, at home, whatever. Whatever it is that I choose to do, I go 
with that mentality of 100% completion. It helped me go back and finish school actually because I, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I didn't know specifically where I was going. I was just kind of like, well, maybe I should just take a while and figure things out. Just I could say my quality of life improved. Everything was just great. Uh, I could feel, I felt happier, I felt more active. I could feel myself constantly trying to learn more about um, the topics I was studying in school. Uh, you know, just everything, just overall it improved my quality of life and that, that's something I am really thankful to Kendo for. I had never learned so much about myself in such a short amount of time and also made actual steps to fix things that I find about myself that I don't like like the whole being hard on myself I've made like I honestly feel in the past year of you know going around the country and meeting other Kenshi other people that do Kendo I've probably made friendships that are definitely gonna last a lifetime whether you know whether it's through kendo or whatever else you know it, you can tell that people that stick with kendo people that want to pick it up people that do it they do it out of pure love for the martial art and that that's awesome that's really cool like there's there's no better connection you can feel whether it's crossing swords you know with you know with the full men's on fighting against each other and then after you take it off, you, you talk to the person, you're like, you know, you know, that was really great. I really enjoyed that. You know, it was really strong. Whether it's after practicing all together, you know, going out to have a beer, maybe going out to eat, maybe you're talking back and forth about your experience in kendo. Whether it's, you know, whether your experience is as short as a couple months or as long as like maybe 20, 30 years. I've seen, I know Kenshi that have been doing it like since they were little, like at least 40 plus years. And it's great. There's just nothing that beats it.